what is up guys in this video we're actually going to learn how we can give our projects in react native a bit more structure and this is going to be with props which are also known as properties but let's go ahead and start with a working example so the first thing i want to show you is that of course when you create an app you're going to have this return window that returns a view with whatever component you have inside but if you write all of your logic inside here eventually this file is going to get really really big so one way to simplify this as in every programming language is to create so-called components, which are very similar to functions in any programming language. So we create it so we can reuse it easier and we can shorten the code in the main file. All we want to do here is render what we created. And if we can keep this small and easy to maintain, that's a lot better. So we're going to create several files and we're also going to create some components that will have some props. So the first thing we will do is go ahead and export default class app which is going to extend react.component as always and inside here we need to render the ui so let's go ahead and put that inside there and i forgot the parentheses here perfect all right so the first way i want to show you how we can create a component and use props is just by creating a constant function outside of our class app so we can use it later and this one's going to be constant hello is going to equal props or this is actually the constructor and we're going to add our block of code here and all we're going to do inside here is return a view or actually just a text so it's going to be text and we're going to type in hello plus and finally we're going to insert some javascript code and the way we use props is just by typing props and then you need to give it a name that you want to use later. So just a property name. And I'm going to call this one some text. Now, if we want to use this template, we've created a component that we can use as many times as we want. And to do that, we just have to go inside our render file and go ahead and type in hello. And this is going to immediately refer to this component that we created up here. But we also want to add some text into this property. So to do that, we just have to type in some text and that's just going to equal one, two, three, four, five. So now when we save and run the code, you're going to notice we will have the text down here. And the great part about this is we can just copy and paste it and insert some different text as many times as we want. And it's very simple and it's very clean. So this is where you would insert whatever component you're creating. It can be a message bar. It can be the user page, whatever you want. You just make sure that you can reuse it and that it handles its own function. So with that, I showed you how we could use a component from within the same file, but that doesn't really help us with the size of this file over here. So let's go ahead and delete this component and let me show you how we can add it to a different file. So let's go ahead to our file explorer and we're going to create a new folder and you can name this folder whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and call it components and inside components we will create a new folder and this is where you will name your component or whatever you want to name this section of your components. And I'm just gonna call it feature components dot js. And we have to go back because inside here, we need to import these two so that we can use React and we can use all of this. Now, just as we did earlier, you can go ahead and create a constant sample component or whatever you want. And that's of course going to equal props and the function body. And inside here, we are going to return a text which will also contain an on press method. So when we press on that, we're going to call props dot do something which will be the method that i will create soon enough and again this is a property name so this can be anything you want and the style is going to equal style dot text which i will also create very soon and inside the text block we're going to insert another prop which is props dot value and i'm not going to go ahead and talk about the style sheet it's just to give the text a font size a color a font family and a margin you can go ahead and do whatever you want with that, but we're gonna concentrate on the component. And then the final thing we have to do inside here is export the component. So export default sample component and save. Now we have to go back to our app and inside here, we need to go ahead and type in import sample component. And it's gonna give you the suggestion 
plus the file location. So you just need to make sure it links correctly or you will probably get an error if you pick the wrong location. But with that being put there, we can now use this sample component inside here and it still maintains a very clean body for our app over here. But what we're going to do now is go ahead and create a state. And first we're going to have value, which is going to be set to tap me exclamation mark and value two, which will be exactly the same thing. Then we're going to create a function called update state. And all we have to do is call this dot set state inside here. We need to set the value to hello mate for this one. Then we're going to copy this, paste it right under, change this to update state two, change this to value two. And I'm just going to insert the text of code palace. Now inside our render block, we can go ahead and type in sample component, close that. And the first thing we're going to specify is the value prop. So we're going to type in value and this is going to equal this dot state dot value. So this value is connected, of course, to this value over here, because that's the property name we have specified. And then we also defined that we want this button to do something. All right, we have to put an S over here. There we go. Then we have to go ahead and refer to the prop name do something. And that is going to equal our function. So inside here, we type in this dot update state. So now if we click on save and we go ahead and tap on this, you're going to notice that first we have the value inserted as we've defined over here. So this value gets transferred to our feature component and gets inserted here immediately. Then we have the function that we've defined, which is do something, which also gets converted, or I mean transported to this on press method over here. So there are many ways to send the data to the components we need in different files. And it's very important we maintain the state in the main component, which is the class app, of course, because here we just want to display the information, not hold any information. And let's go ahead and make the second one because we've defined two. So we're going to create another sample component and it's going to be value equals this dot state dot value two and update state two. So now we have two tap me buttons. If we click on the second one, it's going to say code palace. If we click on the first one, it's going to say hello mate. And as you can see, we have successfully linked it in a different folder, which just makes things a lot cleaner in the long run and much easier to maintain because we can reuse this one as many times as we want. All we have to do is use the props that we have defined and our project is going to look a lot cleaner in the main class. But with that being said, guys, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.